All right, chat. The YouTuber assassinated by her own biggest fan. On the 10th of June 2016, Christina Grimmie offered a hug to her most obsessed fan. She was pronounced dead less than an hour later. She'd begun That's on YouTube bad. roughly seven years beforehand, initially uploading covers of popular songs. Wait, I've seen her face before. Wait, I've, actually, I've seen her face before. I don't, I don't know where from, though. Hi, um, I'm going to sing Party in the USA. And after only three videos, Christina went viral. She'd gained 892,000 views by covering Miley Cyrus alongside her brother Marcus, who'd become a key figure. In Get to Know Christina Grimmy Part 2, she'd state, My brother, honestly, is a really big influence on me. Hey, Harry, Harry, you ain't doing nothing, bro. You ain't doing nothing like this to me, bro. Is that I got 200,000 bodyguards, mate. He's a year older than me and we're like best friends. We always got along. There's never been really a time when we were like sibling rivalries ever. Did therefore begin making videos together. I love my brother who's also filming. And after only a year of uploads, Christina was one of the top 50 most subscribed channels. Oh my. Hey guys, I recently reached a whopping 500,000 subscribers. I've definitely seen a face With her newly found fame, Christina made a huge announcement. Don't forget to tune into the Ellen show show today, I'm going to be singing me and Tyler Ward's rendition of How to Love. Which made her even more popular. Our next guest has been hailed as the queen of YouTube. With over 200 million views, she is the most popular unsigned artist on YouTube. But despite also releasing her very first voice. album, Christina's life still had its problems. She'd become so famous she had to leave her school. Hey, hey, Mr. Spot, tier one for three months and eight. Hey, Mr. Spot, I appreciate you, bro. Thanks so much, dude. Well, trolls made Twitter accounts under Christina's name before making arrogant tweets. Even a couple of my really close friends, they've just told me, all your fans like hate you now because you're being really cocky and rude. And I was like, but that's not me. Yet in reality, she was the total opposite. She'd state, I hate when people have big egos. I try to stay as grounded as I possibly can. I don't consider myself a famous person. Okay. So I kind of just do my thing and my fans love it. And that's what makes me happy. Fair Christina's enough. humble nature was noticed by Selena Gomez, who reached out to start a friendship. And there's Selena Gomez right there. Oh my gosh, hi. There's Selena. And invite Christina on her very first tour. Her name is Christina Grimmy, and we found her on YouTube. We got to see her video, and now she's part of our team, and she's part of our family. After every stop, Christina did a meet and greet. Hey, hey, Selena, I'm on, I'm on YouTube too, Selena. Hey, Selena, I'm on YouTube too. You want to be friends? giving her fans the chance to meet her and her brother. This turned out to be one of her favorite parts. My favorite part, though, of tour has been meeting everyone from all these different countries. Subsequently trying to meet fans at every single show. And I loved meeting everyone, all the fans. They were so great. The number of which had grown to over 3 million. She'd also appeared in different ads, placed third overall on the Voice TV show, and was selling thousands of concert tickets, the next of which was you know scheduled what? at the plus. You know what? I'm not surprised I've seen her face, bro. She she seems like she's everywhere, dude. Us alive in Orlando, Florida. She'd promote the event by tweeting, Orlando, come out to the show tonight at the Plaza Live. Starts at 7.30, hyping up the concert like she'd do with any other. We're in Orlando today. Please come to the show if you live near Orlando, Florida. Uh, we are at the Plaza Live. Please come out. The show commenced with her brother on guitar, which when combined with Christina's singing, got the crowd so hyped she took the time to thank them. You guys are awesome! Oh my god! Everybody was delighted to see Christine alive, except for a guy in the back who barely moved a muscle. He wore a black cap and flannelette shirt and had purchased a ticket under Kevin James Loebel. He'd grown up two hours away in St. Petersburg, yes, Florida, in what was described as a semi-abusive household. Kevin told him his mother beat him with a frying pan, threw dishes at him, and broke his brother's arm. Jesus. His mother then passed away when he was only 21, after which his father began dating someone new Although over a two year span, police were called six times about fights between the two, often involving alcohol and violence. He worked a part time job at Best Buy, but Kevin was awkward with people. Managers moved him around to different departments over the eight years he worked there, settling on him working on computers for the Geek Squad to reduce his interaction with customers, and Kevin's personal life wasn't any different. Okay. He dropped out of college, covered his windows with tinfoil, and spent all day every day 
playing World of Warcraft. But Kevin wasn't the only one who liked to play games. We did a lot of gaming on this tour, as you can see. We've got the Wii U set up. we got Marth as our little mascot. All right, so I'll put two and two together. Yeah, he's the one that assassinated her. Don't... Like, why, though? Why? Christina never stopped talking about her love for gaming. You name it, I play it. With her channel's initial name being Zelda X Love 64. There's no way they're mad on a game. Didn't know already, and he got mad. I'm obsessed with Zelda. Hence the name Zelda X Love 64. Ocarina of Time is the best Zelda game out there, although there are a lot. Never I'm very Zelda. thankful for electronics, video games, uh, television, and the internet. After learning about this, Kevin became obsessed. To impress Christina, he lost 50 pounds got LASIK eye surgery, had his teeth whitened, and got hair implants to cover up his receding hairline. Okay. However, Christina didn't know that Kevin even existed and instead fell in love with her producer, Stephen Reza. On the morning uh -oh. of her concert, they'd share the messages shown on screen. Meanwhile, Kevin James Loebel was spotted buying weapons. Oh, He'd keep no. them in his jacket until the show finished. Hey, hey, buddy, hey, buddy. You've done all that work to lose that weight and stuff. Go buy someone else, bro. She don't know you, bro. She... Oh, yo, pe people just aren't screwed in right, are they? Like, how are you in love with someone that deeply? Like, I get that you can love people, right, that you don't know. That You know what I mean? Like, people have celebrity crushes and all that. Yeah, fair enough, right? But this deeply, bro. This deeply. This deeply. At which point Christina held her standard meet and greet. It's just a routine um, meet and greet. People of all walks of life. It feels Obsession. safe. It feels like there's no need for security. I mean, we've done this hundreds of times. Oh, this She'd is stand sad. beside this yellow barrier, being videoed by fans with her brother in the background. Christina took this final photo before being approached by Kevin James Loebel. As seen in previous videos, her natural instinct was to offer fans a hug, doing the same for Kevin before he shoot her point blank what christina would do she'd always just like open up her eyes for a hug that was her thing the next thing you know a couple shots go off christina's Why? brother tackled the shooter who then turned the gun on himself police were on site within only minutes and quickly rushed christina to hospital in critical condition adam levine instantly wrote i'm sad shocked and confused we love you so much grimmy we are all praying hard you can pull through this however after only 35 minutes a tragic announcement was made a singer on the rise whose stardom is dead and police Police trying to figure out why the gunman shot her at an Orlando concert. When the media rushed to the shooter's house, they'd find a note written by his parents reading, Deeper sorrow for lost, to the family, friends, and fans of the very talented, loving Christina Grimmy. No other comments. While back at the scene of the crime, the media was asking how this wasn't prevented. Bro, that's actually sad, man. Like, why would why would someone do that? Bro, how are you that obsessed with someone that because they got a boyfriend, you go and kill them and yourself? Ah, oh, people are fucking mental, bro. People are fucking mental. There was barely any back check. The only thing that they were looking for is for food and drinks. They weren't looking for weapons. They were looking for weapons. They didn't any do pat downs or anything. They just didn't do anything. They checked the bags barely. And that's it. In the days that followed, the plaza's wow. former general manager came forward to state. It was not publicly known that the entire management team was replaced on June 1st, just nine days before the incident. He continued, I believe the replacements hired were completely inexperienced and ill-prepared to manage the plaza. Sadly, this tragedy occurred, the very first concert managed by the new staff. They weren't being security guards. They were just kind of standing there, like having a good time. They were that's more concerned so sad, about like bringing water bottles in. The incident was so unusual, it's hard to know who to blame except for Kevin himself. Fans simply focused on the singer writing, Christina, now you're on the wings of your dragon. Be at peace now for you are now God's angel. Your hypnotic voice Bless fills her. the heavens. Selena Gomez wrote, my heart is absolutely broken. I miss you, Christina, before dedicating a show to her. And I don't really understand how this really happened. 
but I would like to dedicate this next song to her. That she wasn't able to finish as she was simply too sad. The voice added, there are no words. We lost a beautiful soul with an amazing voice. Our hearts go out to the friends, fans, and family of At The Real Grimmy, while hundreds of other celebrities also offered their condolences. I've literally been crying for two days straight. Perhaps no one was more devastated than Christina's boyfriend. The grief from that really messed me up as a man. Cursing God had me getting into fist fights and getting blackout drunk every night. Messed my life up. Except for maybe Christina's mother. Yet Marcus Grimmy wrote on Facebook, I found out this morning that Adam Levine personally called my mother and said he'll pay for the funeral and her plane flight. Now a friend just told me to look at the GoFundMe page and I see it is at 100k. Yo, people actually suck, bro. Like fucking weirdos out there, man. Like, that guy literally was that obsessed to kill her than himself because she got a boyfriend. What a fucking weirdo, bro. What an absolute weirdo, bro. Literally, I have no words. They held not only a funeral, but a vigil as well, so where dumb. one of Christina's tweets was publicly read. Sometimes God allows terrible things to happen in your life and you don't know why. This only became more true when her mother died from breast cancer two years later in 2018. Wholesomely, however, they're now buried side by side. Aww. Christina touched so many lives that seven years, almost seven years after her passing, people still care about her. So that goes to just kind of show what kind of person she bro that's crazy man that's sad for her bro that is sad for her bro